Okay, I have no idea what happened. So let's see. I mean, the last time I made a video, it was like 20 minutes long, and the my camera kept going. So I just was messing with my camera because it went off, and then I replayed what I had made because I didn't know at what point when it went off. So while it was playing, I did get some of my little wood veneers. How cute are these? They're from Studio Calico Wood Veneers. Some of them are really tiny, though. And with my little fake nails, makes it kind of hard. So I have to use my tweezers. But, so cute. So while I was waiting on that, trying to figure out where I was on my video, I went ahead and colored some. As you can see, all I did was just use my uh, Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. I know a lot of you use Copics. Those obviously will work as well. Um, so I colored some, and, oh, and I added this leaf to my front card. Isn't that cute? The little leaf on there? Okay. So, now, I'm just going to use my crystal effects to kind of build up some kind of a flowery thing going on. I don't know yet what I'm going to do, but I colored them. And I found this. It was part of the Sweetest Thing collection as well uh, by my mind's eye. And it's a brad. I'm just going to flatten it and I'm going to stick it on there with uh, some pop ups. I love these. Now, these happen, I have other ones that are taller and thicker, but um, these are the Stampin' Up ones. They call them dimensionals, but you guys all know. And they just pop them up. Peel that off. Uh, another thing that I like with these um, tag, little tag albums, it's okay that flower's hanging over. It'll actually be really cute in the book when you're flipping through it and you've got an embellishment that's wider than the actual tag. So that's cute, I think. All right. One thing I wanted to show you, too, was uh, buttons. I'm going to put some buttons on here. Let's see. These, um, it's a really good deal. I think the buttons from Close to My Heart, I have a friend who sells Close to My Heart. Um, I have to label everything, so I just use washi tape and label stuff. So, Because I like to give companies credit when I'm working with their product to be able to tell you guys what I'm using. So, um, anyway, what I was going to say is I think that you get a good um, assortment of buttons that are really reasonable from close to my heart. So if you don't have a close to my heart person, email me. Underneath all my stuff, you can see my email address, terry at stampinmania.com, and I will give you my friend's name. And you can just order it from her website. And I'll tell you what, you should go there because they have um, clearances on embellishments. And you can get some stuff really inexpensive. I used to use the word cheap, but I was told that's not good. So, inexpensive. Um, now, this little thing. Um, I like to put twine something in the middle. I don't like to leave the holes of buttons. Um, as just plain old holes. So I'm going to take some of this pink twine that normally I don't like to have in such a big array of mess. I'll have to wind it around a... When it starts getting messy, I will... I punch out... I bought a big old thing of cork. Cork is really in style right now. bought a big old thing of cork and cut some tags out of cork and thought, ooh, that's good to hold my twine when it gets all goobered up. So anyway, people are like, how do you get the twine through, you know, through the buttonhole? Because it frays and it won't go through. I use this little jobby. Um, it's for dental floss. I don't have a clue what it's called. You get it by the dental floss. And then you cut this. So, for example, I just did that one. 
you would loop it through so you have, you have that ribbon hold it so it's through there and then you just take the little pointy and pull it through and it pulls it through and like I say it's it's in the dental floss section I don't know its official name it comes in um, like a container like this this is by gum brand the GUM and you get like a whole bunch of them so like don't know what they're called but check it out dental floss aisle um, tie this in a knot so since I don't know how to, to um, edit my video I'm not really sure how I'm gonna mush these two together seeing as how I had to start and stop um, then another thing I like to do I think that they look kind of plain and dorky just like that so I like to use my pokey which I'm sure has an official name my little pokey guy and I separate those out kind of fray it and because that's actually made up of multiple strands of whatever it is yarn then it makes it look like a little bit thicker middle so fray it open it then I can kind of see how fluffy it is and then cut it down it still kind of looks dorky so I'm going to cut it down ah okay there I think that looks cuter with like a little fluffy in the middle and I'm going to put it on here somewhere now that I added this I need some kind of a um, journal tag or because like I say people can put a small photo on here or maybe they'll want a journal so I will just look over in my pile of stuff that you guys can't see right now ooh oh that would have worked but hmm. For some kind of a journaling oh that would be cute I think you're amazing but then I'm getting okay I'm getting a little cluttered there there's no room to put a photo with all the garb I'm putting on there so that's not going to work <laughs> and this is too big Ooh, what about this what about this I could cut that down Mm, no, it's too big. Okay, I'm sure you guys do not want to sit here while I try to figure out what I'm going to put on here. I know that I want this little button on here somewhere. I have a... you guys can't see it. Because I, I do a smash book too, so I have like this bucket of stuff that's got little small things in it. And might come up with something here. Have you guys gotten into those smash books yet? I think they're kind of fun, but they're basically a scrapbook of your life as you're going right current day. I'll have to show you mine. I am. Um, Okay, this is ridiculous. I promise next time I will go ahead and figure out what I want to do so you don't have to wait on me. I thought it was going to be easier than this. Here's some pink letters. Oh, totally into these. This is also by my mind's eye, sweetest thing collection. Tiny word stickers. Um, I have a bazillion of these because with the smash books it works great. You just all kinds of fun things that you could say. Ooh, this might be cute. Oh, 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 found something. There we go. Memories. Question is, do I want my tag to read like this? Because with your tag book, you can have your tag going this way or this way. I'm going to do this. Hmm. 
not really 100% sold on that, are you? Nope, too busy. And literally, this is what I do. And then if I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do right then with that, oh, I found something I'm going to stick on there. I would go to the next tag, which is another reason why I like to have um, all my tags done at why well, I cover them all, <clears throat> because I can flip back and forth between them when I can't come up with what I want to do. But there I got that, and I'm going to stick that there. That's cute. It's coming together. And again, I probably will either sell this on Etsy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because <coughs> I have an Etsy store, so I may sell this on Etsy or give it to a friend. Um... I spent probably two hours last night going through pictures of my grandkids and my kids and thinking, oh, for this tutorial, I want to have pictures and have it all built with pictures. But, oh my gosh, it takes forever to figure out your pictures. So time consuming. <coughs> like I say, after a couple hours, I was like, yeah, I'm just going to build it. I'm just going to make it and not put the pictures in okay so that's not busy but it's cute I've got ribbon i've got this little 3d embellishment my button a little sticker here so just imagine that with a little cute little girl's picture and maybe a little journaling or something on here i think that would be adorable i will put in my noisy bammer grommet thing and when i put all these together um I'll put them on my blog because they'll be even cuter because I'm going to put like, I'll put all kinds of cute ribbons around the um, ring holder and it'll be adorable. So, there's that. Eventually it's going to all go together. That'll be my front. And simple. So I'm going to go finish it and try to figure out how to put these two videos together and get it on my blog. So email me, leave me comments if there's something in particular you want to see or if you'd like me to shorten these and not talk and just boom, 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 get her done. <clears throat> All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.